Hi, this is Linda with the Twasson Wellness Center. Today I'd like to talk about where does my head go when I'm moving. A lot of times I'll see clients struggle with where the head fits into the different movement patterns. For example, if we see someone in a side bend, their head might sort of stay behind as the body tries to move, or if I cue flexion, the head might sort of not really go with the spine. So the back is rounded, but the head is still up. And then I also see it with extension where I would cue if they're doing something, say face down, and I would cue for the sternum to lift, we'll get the head going first. So where does the head go? Think of the head as a big vertebra. It really is part of your spine and it moves with your spine. If you don't feel as related to the back of your body as the front, you can also reference where your head goes, where your sternum goes, sorry, your head goes. So you could even place the thumb on your sternum and a finger on your chin. And for example, when you laterally flex or side bend, where your sternum goes, your head goes. So as I'm side bending, my sternum is moving, my head follows. So you can see that there's a sense of continuity or continuation of the movement through the crown of my head. And what you might be noticing there as well is that there looks like there's more ease to the movement than when I side bend and, and my head is sort of left behind. Everything sort of becomes disjointed and awkward. So when we flex, your head flexes too. When you extend, your head goes with your sternum. So wherever your spine goes, your head goes. Your head is the follower of the movement of the spine. I hope you find that helpful. And if you have any questions next time you're in the studio, just come and ask me or I'll clear it up as we're moving. Thanks for watching.